In this video, I'm going to share with you the five conditions when you need to dump your drug. I'm talking about breaking up with your MS disease modifying therapy. Stay tuned because I'm going to teach you those five things starting right now. Howdy! Learn about MS with me, Aaron Boster. I started this YouTube channel to help my own MS clinic patients learn between visits. And it's my hope that through these videos, I can help you learn too. Today's topic, when to break up with your MS medicine. I'm talking about the disease modifying therapy. When do you need to break up with it? You see, I think about these medicines as dating. You're not getting married to your disease modifying therapy. You're dating your disease modifying therapy. And as long as that DMT treats you right, they're a good dancer, they're a good kisser, they get along great with your family, everything's going well, super. But if, if that DMT misbehaves, we're going to have to break up with it and we're going to have to delete it out of our cell phone and we're going to have to unfriend it on Facebook and we're going to have to explain that, hey, look, you're going through some personal things. It's not them, it's you. And then you'll call them back and then you never call. I want you to know when it's appropriate to think about dumping your disease modifying therapy. And really, it boils down to five cases. The first one is if you have an MS clinical attack while taking a disease modifying therapy. I'm not saying you have to switch, I'm just suggesting that you talk about whether or not that, that drug is failing you and whether you need to make a change. Likewise, if you have a new spot on your MRI while taking a therapy, that's also a form of breakthrough disease activity and it means to me the same thing as an attack. The, the disease modifying therapy might not be doing everything we want it to be doing. And so that's a second condition when I would consider breaking up with my DMT. Number three is if you see changes on neurological examination. Now, I'm not saying every time there's a new finding you change drug. I'm saying if you're taking a disease modifying therapy and your disease is progressing on your exam, you need to look at the therapy and ask whether or not this is a evidence of breakthrough disease. Number four is if you are no longer comfortable with the side effect profile or the risk profile of the drug. And as we move forward in time, as we take drugs for longer periods of time, as we age ourselves, the risk profiles of given drugs can change. And so there are some times when we're no longer comfortable. I would also include that if you're having problems with liver enzymes and the such. In which case, we got to break up. Number five is problems with tolerability. Now, this could be difficulty with the side effect of a pill, like a flushing or diarrhea. It could be injection fatigue from jabbing yourself with a needle uh, over a period of X years. It could be problematic infusion reactions. For whatever reason, if you're no longer tolerating taking the drug, uh, this would be a situation when you might need to break up. So, once again, my name's Aaron Boster, and thanks for learning about MS with me. This video was intended to be a short discussion on when you might consider dumping your drug, your disease modifying therapy. I would love to hear your opinions. Do you agree with me in the five conditions when you would dump a drug? Which are the most impactful for you? Please leave your comments down below. Also, if you'd like to hear more content like this, please consider subscribing to the channel. Until my next video, take care.